Hi everyone, welcome to my weekly leadership vlog. My name is Cami Dempsey and I'm super excited about our topic today because we're continuing on answering a question. It's a, th it's a three part answer, if you will, and I started it last week. The question was, how do we keep our team focused? How do we keep our team from quitting? How do we keep them, uh, you know, looking at the bigger picture and, and moving forward and anyways, so there's several ways you can look to answer that, but I believe several of these questions that have been coming in can all be answered with these three reasons why people may even give up and quit. And last week we talked about uh, perspective, and so you definitely should go back and take a look at that if you weren't able to view that. Today we're going to talk about progress. I believe another reason why people get distracted and do not finish what they start and even potentially quit or don't finish well is because they're not seeing progress for the effort that they're putting in. And you know, some people need to see progress to keep moving along. So how can you as a leader give them some measurable results? It might not be their income, it might not be a pin level, and it might not be a project completed. So how can we celebrate small wins within the larger win. And, you know, we talked last week about perspective and getting people in the right perspective um, because it's often easy to fall into a trap of thinking I'm the only one going through this or maybe I'm the only one not getting it right and so on and so forth. And so as leaders, we need to help our teams keep the right perspective on the vision uh, that we're casting for our team. But we also need to help them um, see progress. And I'll tell you what, when I first started on this journey that I'm on, I didn't see a lot of progress in the early days, but I sure did a lot of personal development to continue to grow myself, to be the person that I am today and continue to work on the path to become the person I was created to be. And it's funny because I use this analogy all the time, but I believe our role or our team's role is to plant the seeds and it's God's role to bring the harvest. And so I, I think if we can, you know, help our team get the small wins and continue to focus on the right path and keep the right perspective, that as they're waiting to see the progress that they're looking for, they'll stay focused and they'll stay in the game. And I think that's the bottom line. So make sure you tune in next week for part three of how to keep our teams focused. And uh, feel free to shoot me a question if you have one at cami at callingallleaders.com. Subscribe below, and if you want to leave a question in the comments, feel free to do that too. See you next week.